On today's Try to Finish Something, wow, this lighting is horrible today. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to uh, put together a contest. It's going to start this Friday. You're going to find out details about it here. If you subscribe to this channel, you're going to get a notification that the details are up. If you're a member of the Facebook page, the Star Wars Room Builders, it'll be there as well. The contest is going to be fairly broad so that a lot of different styles and artists can be involved. You'll get a prompt. Let's say it's um, Star Wars characters and you want to draw Han Solo or you want to sculpt Luke Skywalker or you want to build something that is iconic from Darth Vader. All of those would be available. It's your interpretation of the prompt and whatever medium you use you create some sort of art project and the prizes for this are, are growing and growing and they're outstanding. And we're going to have a couple different categories and again, more details on Friday. But I want to do a project. So today I am going to do something, baby steps, to get myself closer to my room build of having that crashed ship through my build room. And I'm going to create the helmet that the character, the dead character, the rebel that didn't quite make it when his ship crashed into my room. I, you'll see. But first, I need that helmet. And I'm going to take a Black Series helmet and I'm going to re-weather that helmet and create that character's helmet on today's Try to Finish Something. So here it is the Black Series helmet that I picked up on eBay. And in the end of all of this, I really want to have a single-seater Y-wing crashing through the ceiling because I think if I angled it coming through, it would give me some more real estate to show what the ship actually was and the damage and make it look really cool with the ceiling falling apart. I could have the front laser cannons and a good amount of detail to the part sticking out without having to take up my entire build room. You know, this is a really good looking helmet right out of the box. You can tell it was factory painted, but the detail is really nice. What I don't like is the uniform shading. It's like a bad airbrush job. And I'm not an airbrush expert in any way. And for something like this, I don't like the idea of using an airbrush because it tends to be too uniform, like this shading here. An airbrush painting is perfect to feather out the paint and if I was painting this helmet from scratch I might do a layer like they've done for me of an airbrush and then layers of other colors with a paintbrush and then blot it off with something like a paper towel. My plan for the room in the end is to have the ship crashing through and the rebel pilot's arm dangling out holding the helmet. Since this is a crashed ship, the weathering needs to be a bit more intense than what this comes with. Translation, nah, I need to dirty this up. And before you even say it, I know, this is an X-Wing helmet, Luke's to be exact, but a Y-Wing helmet isn't as readily available. And in Rebels, they both wore the same helmets. And John in one of my nerd groups said that on Yavin, they wore the same helmet in the Y-Wing and the X-Wing too. And I'm, I'm really not sure what my plan is, but I don't want the nose of an X-Wing because it would have to come in too far to show the ship. I could do a wing of an X-Wing with the laser cannon on the end, but I'm just not sure I want to do that either. Back to this helmet. Take a good look at it because it's paint time. You notice the warm brown in the cracks really sells that dirt and grime. And when you add that and mix in varying amounts of black water-based oil paints and then 
blotted off. It really sells the realism better than the out-of-the-box paint job, even if you were just lightly retouching this yourself. I think that brown really warms it up. So I will keep trying to add paint on without a pattern and cover the areas alternating between blotting and wiping off the paint to give me some different textures. really like the way this looks with this paint on it. Look, here's the side that I'm working on. And take a look at the other side, you know, in, in case you forgot. Here's the side with some paint on it, and here's the monotone, just gray side. I, I really think this is improving. All right, a brush and two simple colors of water-based oils, and this is really looking better to me, looking better to me. Okay, time to motor through doing the same thing to most of this helmet on both sides. Speed up time. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to add a few drips and I'm going to flick the paintbrush and add some grime splatter too. And on this side, I want this pilot to have seen some hand-to-hand -hand combat before, you know, he met his demise in my ceiling. Those stormtroopers are not known for their accuracy, and in this pilot's last encounter, a trooper barely grazed his head, and I want a bit of a blaster mark on his helmet. I'm going to work in layers on a horseshoe-shaped blast, layering, and wiping.
Now I'm going to mix a bit of silver rub and buff with turpentine to make it more paintable. And I'm going to dab on tiny amounts of silver with a really small brush in a few areas where the paint is supposed to look like it scratched, maybe made it down to the bare metal. But leaving it like that would be too silver and too clean. So what I'm going to do is add a few specks of black in the same places I'm putting the silver. And then I'm going to wipe it in the direction of the scratch to blend some grime of black into the silver and dragging it with a paper towel will help me create those scratch marks. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna to put together the final prize package for the Star Wars Art Prompt Contest that will start later this week. But I'm calling this re-weathering of this Black Series X-Wing helmet finished. I really hope you liked the video and if you did, tell a friend, like, and share it. If you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself and we'll see you next time as we try to finish something. <laughs>